In this video, we're going to look on a FilterForge application. If you're not familiar with this, I recommend go check FilterForge.com. This is an application can be work as standalone or with a, a Photoshop or other applications as a plugin to create unbelievable textures, processing photos. It's very flexible operation. And it's come with already pre-made, people pre-made thousands and thousands, literally, of the textures, um, effects, and other ones. Actually, right here, it says 12,700. So it is a lot of ones of them. And you can create your own, whatever you want, and they're all free to use. All what you need to, it's purchase application, which is a lot of them on free uh, on the sale, or you can download free trial and see how it's work. I used application for many years in my own project. The beside that, if you're creating your own filters, and that's what we're going to do, start with this, how to do that, then you can actually place them and people start using them. And here's the best parts. The more they're using, you're getting the points. And do using these points, you can actually get free upgrade, lifetime upgrade, or free copies. Just example, right here, it's my reward point. And you can see I did not make that many filters, but I had a 23 reward points, which is give me five, for example, for lifetime upgrade, all what you need to five reward points. I spend some points because I just give it away. Sometimes these filter fortune, probably it's what I'm going to do giveaway as well on my channel, YouTube channel, I will give away to subscribers some of this um, application for free so you can play it. But you can see right here, this is points and they're very easy to earn. So I have a 23 um, filters that you have at high usage rank. Um, and I don't know how many I made, maybe about 40. So half of them about that high usage rank. It's not that hard to do. And we're going over how to make them. If you're interested, I will recommend to go check on my uh, Geek Play website where I have actual tutorials about the filter forge. And when we're going more in depth, how to create them, how to use and all this. But again, this is more, more in depth to do. Over what we're going to do right now, it's going inside the filter forge. And of course, we don't look how to use filters. It's very straightforward. Our focus right now is how to create filter so you can submit it and start earning those high usage points so you can get free uh, applications, upgrades or other things. So right here is an image I uploaded. And again, this is just will don't do any specific fancy. We'll just show you a basic how to do this. For this, you actually need to have a professional version of filter for so you can create one. And on the corner, right corner, it said a filter editor. Let's click on this. And of course, because I don't use any, it says create new. If you already have it one assigned, you can edit or you can see how the filter work, which is actually very nice. Let's go open filter editor. And at this point, we have our menu. Okay, let's increase size. So I'm going to scale a little bit up to cover. And right here, we have it our result. And on the right side, you can see we have it all these additional properties that we can modify. Very nice icon, straightforward. And we don't going in very complex. All what we're going to do is just take the, our image we have. Okay, and it's right here image. So we'll go drag and drop. And uh, this point, it will be node system. So node system is mean we can go connect. If I go connect straight to result, it's out what we have it. We have our image in and we have it our image out. It's a straightforward filter. If we want to apply any additional, we can set between them. And this is what good. So if I go and I says, hey, I want this saturate and I just select go from source and from uh, from the image back. Now I have it my saturation. Of course, in this and saturation, if we look on the properties, we have it different method, average, whatever we want to apply it. And those methods, we can control it. The one nice thing about the filter is when people create it, apply it and give it control to the user what they can do. And to modify this like these methods, we can apply all additional um, effect, for example, our controls. So right here, let's go ahead and we'll just have it in select control set right there, connect to the method. And of course, it is says connection warning three and two, because if you look on the methods, we have a different, we'll go set um, name method and let's say three maximum. 
because we have only three methods. So at this point, if I modify my preset, you can see it's changed in my final window. So because we let people to modify those properties. So let's go ahead. As example, we go click save the filter and let's name our filter. We'll go um, test filter because I don't want to do anything. We'll save it. And now we have it, our filter applied. It's very simple. If we click on the presets and the settings, here's a method as we applied. And notice when I change this method to, it's slightly changing. Okay, but this is again, this is just a one basic. So let's go back to filter editor and we click, it says edit this filter. It's what we wanted because we already start editing. As we open, we'll go back. Okay, let's go click on components. So we expand our window of preview. And you can see right here, we have a huge variety of all these different type effects we can apply. It. Of course, we can go and take, apply mosaic or um, coloring overlay or even split on the channel. For example, in many cases, when I need to create my RGB, I can create extract, set my source, apply the channel, separating and so on. Let's remove this one because I, these maybe will be quite a bit complex first see what my recommendation is start playing with this open go take some nodes and uh, drag them like get alpha connect to this for example it's no alpha here but what if it's happening if we connect alpha from here same because we don't produce don't set any alpha but if your image have it for example transparency that we can get alpha from the transparency and use it again this is very nice if you created filter, for example, inside the Photoshop, when you mask out your model, it's what I do, for example, for compositing and do um, put it there. And speak about compositing right here, for example, all of the most of these images, if you look what I did it, I process them also inside the filter forge right here, for example, background was processed in filter forge, and it's compositing, same tonal adjustings, all of this, most of the images, so I post process after with filter forge. So it's allowed me to create this specific theme look and curves and speak about curves. So if for example, I like to create a specific coloring or my, so I can create my tone curve. I can set my source. We can go back to our curves, select our curves. And here's example before and after. Again, this is just uh, showing how you can do easy by playing with all these additional elements. Notice right here, we don't have preserve colors. So if I click preserve colors, the saturations will work only with luminosity at this point. And again, we can modify, you can adjust those properties, let people to access them. And we can just a little bit. On this case, we have a slightly increase of contrast because our curve is contrast curve, if you're familiar with this. But I encourage you to go and play. So let's go create a first one where we can increase, let's take a little bit here, down, up, and we'll take maximum. So it's just flatten image, make a little bit off and just slightly on a curve. So we'll have it our first image, we'll save it. And at this time you can see we have it our preset. So it's take our image and creating this little bit retro look with adjust the luminosity with a contrast level, make this retro look um, image. All what we need to do afterwards, filter edit. Let's go edit again one more time. We'll want just add a little bit on saturation. So and right here we can have it saturation effect. We'll add between them. Let's go on a hue saturation set this one to 50. So on a middle, actually, you know what? Let's go to we have a zero. Yeah, we don't want this one. We'll take saturation a little bit down. Lightness maybe still be on the zero. Yeah, let's wash out. So we'll add this. Next, we can add a little bit coloring and we can use this with a 3D color gradient. OK, 
Okay, or we can also apply different color to this. Okay, let's go to select our blend. And we'll select one, two, put on a source. And our opacity will on blend mode. Let's go with the probably soft light. Maybe soft light's too high. Let's go with the screen. And actually, you know what? Let's switch background, foreground. Okay. So I'll just apply slightly coloring to our gradients. We'll look on a gradient. And you know what? We can play a little bit with repeating. Let's go with the smooth adjustments. So we'll want to rotate actually up and down. So go like this. And you know what? Let's switch our positions. Uh, maybe play a little bit with the adjustments. And you can see right here when we applied. So let's give it like almost leaks. Well, uh, how about yeah, sideways probably a bit better. We almost can create this TV look. Okay, let's go our first color. Okay, our second color warmer a little bit. And our third color will just say grayish kind of. Okay, I think this is a little bit too warmer. We'll go with the gray. And just smooth out a little bit on the edges. Okay, so this way, when we modify it, you can see we apply a little bit more on the coloring. And you know what? Soft light may be stronger, but it will provide a little bit better blending. On this case, on a result, okay, let's go ahead and save our filter. And you can see in the end we have this preview almost like retro look, maybe some film or effect. Again, this is very fast, very easy to create filter. And one thing you notice how easy you can get almost like addicted to this to create all with playing with effect. Again, I recommend for you if you're interested in this uh, creating filter for go to um, YouTube channel where I have it all of these free tutorials with filter for as you can see here. As well, you can go to directly on a Geek at Play and just preview them from here as well. So you can watch all these tutorials. You can buy or purchase them or go on a Patreon and support me at Patreon if you enjoy these tutorials or want me to produce more of this how to create. And again, right here, just example how we can go and create directly hands on on creating all these different type of the um, filters inside the filter forge thank you again for watching this uh, very kind of introductions to the filter forge tutorial and i hope you're enjoying